Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGym007 and today we're looking at the Build Battle minigame. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to see who is the best at building in a small area over a short amount of time and I'm going to show you how to set it up today. It's a really easy setup, it literally just uses a GUI and you need to set some locations and boundaries and let's just jump into it. So if we do the command 4 slash BBA setup create and then we're going to call it test that is going to create the instance of it. So now we need to do the 4 slash BBA setup edit command for test. This is going to bring up a really cool GUI which has tons of things you need to set up but it's really straightforward and makes it very simple. So the top row is going to be locations, then the countable stuff, so amount of players, and then the map name, the game type, the plots, and then a couple of things down here. So what we're going to do is set all this basically. So this is going to be the waiting location. So we're going to set this as the lobby. And then over here, this is going to be our spectator spawn. So we're going to repeat the command to open the GUI, and then what we want to do is come down to where our plot is and we can set the plot world. So we are going to left click. Now, if we go back into it and just hover over these briefly, you can see you don't always have to left click. You can shift left click to get a setup item if you don't want to put it where it is. You can right click to where you set the location if you forget or want to change it. Um, it's just as easy as that, which is really handy. So now that we've set these locations, we can also set the ending location, which I'm going to just set here uh, for this tutorial. And then we can also set the sign to make sure you're looking at a sign. This is going to be the join sign. And what we can do is left click to set it while we are looking at it. And you can add more if you really want to. So we've only added one so far. You can also right click to remove it and shift right click to remove all of them. Minimum players, what we can do is left click to increase that, right click to decrease. So I'm just going to set to two and then max to maybe four. Then we can set the map name. So there we go. I've set it to some nice colors and we can go back into the GUI and we can set the game type. So classic is the default game mode. And then you also have guess the build and you just have to type in whichever one you want. So we're going to go with guess the build for this particular case. We can go back into the GUI and now that we've set the game type we can go to the game plot so this is where we need our selector so we need to shift left click to grab it in our hand and what we need to do is select the entire area so the bottom left corner is going to be this one and then we need to set the top right hand corner so i'm going to go up maybe 12. right click this and that is going to be the plot that we want to set so go back into the menu and the diamond we want to left click to add the location that we've set um, and that is game plot one you could add another one if you really wanted to so could add a small one over here and we'll go back into the menu and we can add the second one so now we have two game plots we've got this one and a weird small one over here obviously you can make them look much nicer than this um, in your build and then if you have citizens, you can have a floor changer NPC, um, which allows you to change what the floor type is. And then the plot member size, so how many players can play on one plot. Do you want teams? Yes or no? So I'm going to go one for that one. And then that is pretty much everything. We have set all the different things up here, and then we have some translate info if you can help out with that or you want a different language. And then we've got the arena info and if that's all good click the firework in the right corner and that is going to register it and then the plot is going to change into this wood and it should be ready to play so if we have a look at the sign you can see it's currently ending but if i right click you can see it says test one out of four we can select which plot we want so those two i created earlier if you do four slash bba you can see there's an absolute ton of commands that you can do so, you so here we are in the smp control panel and as you can see there's actually a ton of yml files so you can do a lot with this plugin and there's a few folders so if we go into the config there's a few important things here we can do so we have the language you can change that if you want and then the boss bar does it display yes or no scroll down a bit inventory managers so does it want to save all of that info probably yes otherwise your players won't be very happy 
and then any commands that you can be used while in game so you probably don't want people teleporting or giving themselves items and then which functions do you want to block while people are in game scroll down do you want rewards do you want chat yes or no a firework at the end and then various things down here should players get damage when they're building stuff so that would probably be rather unhelpful same with weather and then down here you can change the amount of time people wait to start a game and then during the game now as an example if you go into the rewards.yml you can come down here if you've enabled it um, you can change various things in here so it's going to say these commands in chat and then if you get a correct guess you can give a player two dollars um, same with if they vote and then a 10% chance to get eight dollars for example and then when they came first place it'd be ten dollars etc so you can give a player items or you could give them diamonds now here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.20 there is an absolute ton of information on here specifically if you go to the wiki which will take you to another website and you can see it's going to list all of the commands and permissions and then go through the arena setup which is very straightforward as you saw and then there are indeed some free maps here which are much better than the ones that you saw that I made um, that you can download for this plugin but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time